donations. Just a tiny fragment of so many donations. So we were supposed to take the donations to Goodwill yesterday, but we ended up going on this big lake walk and then going over for tea and dinner with uh, Chips' mother. And it was really nice and I'm really gonna miss hanging out with them, but she's already planning on coming to visit. So it's really nice to know that his family can come visit quite often. And it hit me last night when I was talking to Chips about it. Not only can my family not come visit quite as often because of my parents' disabilities, but they're gonna move to Hawaii. And so we're gonna be visiting them because that's just so much work to try to get from from Hawaii to here. So it's sort of surreal to know that we'll still be able to be connected with both of our families. For him, we'll be able to pop over to North Carolina really easy, take a direct flight from Detroit just in here to North Carolina and visit for a weekend if we wanted to. And that means more lemurs, by the way. Or, like, to visit my family, we're gonna have to plan, like, once yearly, maybe twice yearly trips to freaking Hawaii to be able to go see them. I still need to tell you guys about those details, but I've been waiting for my family to work out, like, are they actually doing it sort of details before telling you. But that's coming up. So anyway, I'm over to, I'm getting ready to go over and drop off the P.O. Box key check the P.O. Box for the very last time and then go pick up some groceries before coming home and moving more donations down the stairs through the parking lot hopefully on their way to Goodwill and we just have two days left oh my gosh look at their little frills oh frilled tulips they're so pretty I can't wait to decorate the house with cut flowers once we move to Michigan. Only our cut flowers are gonna be from the farmer's market and not from just the grocery store. So many yummy chocolates that Chips would really love. I think I wanna get him one as a snack, one of his favorite dark chocolate vegan ones. Garden tomato toner, rose water toner. Let's see, what's this one? Some sort of orange thing. This seems kinda of cool. I don't think the garden tomatoes, I didn't know rubbing them on my face could help my skin, but I just like the idea of the names of them. They're kind of hilarious. It's so boring without plants behind me. <laughs> How can I cope with just an empty wall behind me for vlogging? This is definitely making me know that one of the big projects I want to get on top of after we move is building that living wall of plants. Because believe it or not, those plants are also really good for sound insulation. So other YouTubers will actually have like that, that like um, egg carton foamy stuff on their walls. And I'm just gonna like put ferns on my walls instead. That's totally me. But oh my gosh, just look at that. That's so empty and boring. I feel, I feel exposed. I feel like an overexposed little bird that like suddenly a spotlight is on and you're just like, tweet, hi. <laughs> So we're home, or at least I'm home. I was the one who ran out and did those errands. I swung over to the P.O. Box. I did get two letters. So two letters, one from Carolina here in Carolina. Hi, Carolina. She lives really close by. And then another one from Indiana. And I'll probably open them up because um, they're the only ones that were there. I'll open them up on the update vlog that I'm going to make for tomorrow because tomorrow is Sunday. And tomorrow is going to be the day when I am going to be having my very last day in North Carolina. I have no idea what like that experience is going to be like. It's kind of fun to know that I can vlog it. And so it's very last day in North Carolina. We'll probably be spending a lot of time just doing last minute things. I still need to finish taking all of the donations down to the car so it's just ready for when Chips and I are going to leave later. Um, we need to take over some of our big plants like Scuba Steve. He's over there. Turns out Scuba Steve is also the name of a YouTuber. We had no idea. So that was kind of hilarious. He's like a half million subscriber YouTuber and we didn't even know he existed. And Scuba Steve is just a random name that Chips came up with to name his plant. So we're gonna be taking Scuba Steve and some of my other big plants over to his mom's place and uh, giving them to her. And then, yeah, just lots of little miscellaneous things that need to be done. And I'm gonna try to enjoy my lake a little bit too. But I'm actually relaxing right now. I'm uploading well, relaxing. I say relaxing, and I mean I'm sitting down. I'm uploading uh, Wolf Quest videos that I just made. I'm about to start editing the lemur videos. Look at my little lemur! Look at my little lemur! Isn't he so cute? So I'm going to be editing together some of the lemur videos so that I can release those as specimen spotlights on the main channel for today. There's also a Warrior Cats um, bloopers video going up, so I think everybody's going to really, really enjoy that. And it's getting really hot again, so... I'm really in love with AC. I feel like a joy moment for today would be AC. Oh, and that reminds me. 
I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to do joy moments as I normally do. So today is the day I'm going to be breaking into this for the first time, and I'm so excited. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to make joy journal videos to share with you guys, and I think I want to do them once a week. And what I might try to do is just record little joy moments throughout the week, like little quick snippets of joy moments. And maybe even do some where I'm just like reading the joy moments out of my journal, and then like cut in like a whole bunch of like in-person joy moments so you can experience those with me. And I think those will be really fun and they'll meant to be kind of like a weekly video where people can leave their joy moments and if you need like a pick me up or you need a way of like having a perspective of the good things in the world and the good things that people are enjoying in the world not just the bad things then you can go and enjoy the joy moment videos and they're kind of more an art form so I don't know quite how I'm going to make them but I just feel like this good happy sense of peace when I think about creating them. So those will be coming up and I'm also going to be eating my vegan almond cheese, which is so good. It's from Daya, the cheddar vegan almond cheese. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. So I'm going to be eating that and the chips. That looks like a huge plate, but it's actually, like, for perspective, it's actually just like a, a small tea plate. <laughs> it's covered in crackers, so it looks like it's like overflowing with crackers. That's hilarious. But that, and I don't know what else we're going to get up to for today. It's just going to be an adventure. And it's just, I woke up this morning going, it's just two more sleeps two more sleeps and that's when I'm going to be waking up and we're going to be packing the birds and the geckos and everything into the car and taking off to Michigan. Wow. Oh, oh, and I remember the thing I was really excited about. Really, really, really excited about you guys. So the first weekend, so next weekend when we're going to be in Michigan is actually going to be the 75th anniversary of the farmer's market and they're having like a big celebration like of some sort so the farmer's market is going to be having its 75th celebration like founding cell or like uh anniversary there we go 75th anniversary celebration the weekend we're moving there which i think is so cool so we're gonna go and we're gonna enjoy that and i will record it and there's just gonna be all sorts of new ann arbor vlogs living in ann arbor vlogs coming up and different kinds of life vlogs and i'm really really looking forward to it and honestly putting the wolf quest videos up today it felt so good it felt so good to be able to make something again and realize how much it is part of me and how much i'm looking forward to making more of it oh, so there's that i'm going to get ready to edit those lemur videos and show off the really adorable lemurs that we saw and i'm going to see what chips is wanting to do with the day and just try to get as much work done if i have the energy to as possible because i miss telling my stories too I really miss that and I can't wait to get settled in Michigan I can't wait to build I want to start doing like DIY DIY videos um, on gardening things like building the living wall and making terrariums and making the string plants that hang down from the ceiling um, I want to start doing those on the vlog channel too so that you guys can watch as my office and my home transforms from basically like bare white walls when we well they're gonna be bare sage green walls because all the walls are sage green but bare green walls to overflowing greenery and plants in at least my spaces. Chips prefers things like, like this. He likes it very, very bare and minimalistic. Um, and I prefer like walking into your own personal jungle. So that's going to be my goal. We're going to build my own jungle together. It's going to be really fun. Thank goodness. Finally made it down with the very last box of donation textbooks. So many boxes of books. <sighs> Finally done with that part. So I've accomplished quite a bit this morning, getting the last of the donations into the car, finishing with the P.O. box, going up and down these stairs, up and down these stairs, moving everything. And I feel pretty accomplished. And now that it is about noon, that means that Chips will be waking up and we'll swap off. He actually does night shift stuff and I do morning shift stuff. It's always interesting to see what we finish before the other two. <sighs> that was so worth it to hire movers to move the actual stuff. of. That was just donations. Oh my gosh, and that's not even counting the majority of the books that we have from his library, too. Gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He's just hanging out on our window. Oh, that was so cool! We've moved up the move, and instead of leaving Monday morning, we've decided to leave Sunday night, maybe around 9 or 10 p.m. after the sun sets, 
and we're just gonna snatch the birds straight off of Snoozy Perch, put them in their travel cages, and we're gonna put the geckos in their travel cages, and then we're just gonna head straight out. And it's just exciting. Chips and I were at dinner with his mom, and we were just kind of talking about different ways we could drive up to Michigan, and we were talking about different different times and what time we're gonna leave, and all of a sudden Chips is like, well, why don't we just leave tomorrow night? And I was like, oh? I mean, that could work, right? Because I actually love night driving. I really love night driving. It's going to be about a 10-hour drive, and we're planning on swapping out halfway. So we're just going to make it so that we'll leave early in the night, and I'll go to sleep, and then he can wake me up a few hours, like five, maybe four or five hours into it, five, six, depending on what he's feeling up to. We're going to swap over, and we're going to continue the drive through the night into Michigan and end up at our home early in the morning on the very 1st of August. So this is, this is really exciting and it's going to be kind of interesting because I was going to do lots of vlogging for like the drive and the rest stops we stop at and now we're going to be driving through the night and I'm not really sure if there's going to be anything to see because we won't even really be able to see the mountains or anything around us when we're driving through there. So that might be a little bit boring to like try to show to you guys, but I'll see what happens. It's going to be a moving vlog. It's an adventure. That's the whole point. It's not always about what's the most photogenic thing to be able to capture. It may just be me like nibbling on, I don't know, cucumber sushi that I'm going to get from Whole Foods to eat at 3 in the morning. <laughs> 3 in the morning, cucumber sushi on the road. Woo! And it may just be me checking on the birds and then seeing our house, our home for the first time is going to be so awesome. We've been there once before when we were touring it to see if we wanted to rent it, but now it's our home and it's going to be amazing to see. And then our stuff will get there on the second and then a lot of the stuff that we ordered from Amazon will get there on the third and then we're going to be setting up shop and it's going to be our new home. Ah, okay, so we're leaving tomorrow night.